Over the course of this last year, I've been testing and experimenting and really trying to figure out my workflow for my short form video content. Because let me tell you what, I can certainly sit down and record a ton of content. Ideas come to me, I can just set up my iPhone, set up my camera and just batch record my videos. But the editing process, that seems to take forever. I've tried in-app editing on TikTok and Instagram. I've tried a bunch of different mobile apps like InShot and CapCut. I've made it through all the glitches and the learning curves and the lack of organization in a lot of these different tools, software, and apps. And to my surprise, after testing and experimenting and going through all of these tough scenarios, I have found myself coming back to Descript time and time again, yes, for my short form video editing. So over the last couple of years, I've used Descript to edit all of my long form content that includes my YouTube videos, my podcasts. And for a long time, I had a bit of hesitation towards using Descript for my short form editing. I thought it had limitations, I thought it was glitchy, but I've learned a few things and I wanna bring them to you in this video today to show you that you can have your short form video editing workflow also inside of Descript. Honestly, it has been the perfect tool since it is already a part of my tech stack. And the good thing about Descript, unlike a lot of the other apps that I've tried, is that there is a ton of organization and I can create on-brand templates. And it just fits seamlessly into my overall content system. So before I dive into any tutorials for you here, there is a part of this process that you need to figure out first, and that is actually finding your video style. You really need to decide what types of short form video content that you are going to be creating as a part of your overall social media and content strategy. Are you like me and you wanna create more of those talking to camera style videos? Or maybe you're wanting to lean more into those quote style videos that allows you to use like B-roll and text overlay. Or do you wanna lean into more of like the influencer and content creator style where you're kind of developing mini vlogs with a voiceover? Or maybe you want a combination of all three. The good thing about Descript is that we can kind of create and edit templates for each of these different styles of videos. You just have to decide which ones you wanna create. The next part of this process is you need to decide what the actual style of the video is going to look like. Do you want it to look like you natively edited it in TikTok? Do you wanna have your brand fonts? Do you want your videos to be more complicated? Do you want them to look a little less polished or do you want it to be somewhere in the middle? You have to make these stylistic choices ahead of time before you actually sit down and create some of these templates. You're gonna wanna make these stylistic choices so that you have consistency across the videos that you're producing and that you're putting out on social media. So start to scroll through TikTok, start to scroll through Instagram, find some inspiration on how you want your videos to look and start to notice the key elements within each of those videos and how it can reflect on your personal style and how you approach video content creation. And the last part of this process is figuring out how you're going to record these videos. I always recommend just starting with the equipment that you have on hand. So it could just be something like your iPhone and simply airdropping those to your computer and putting them into script to edit. More recently, I have decided to invest in my equipment and upgrade to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So I've been playing around with that for some of my short form video content just to have a little bit better quality. Uh, have the use of a little microphone to just make my overall quality just a bit better for my videos. It is not necessary, but it has been really fun. Or sometimes I pull clips directly from my YouTube videos and I record all of my YouTube videos, like the one you're watching here, with my Sony ZV-1 camera. Again, it's just a little bit higher quality, definitely not needed if you're just getting started, but just kind of keep note of how you're gonna be creating these videos. And no matter what you choose and the equipment that you have and the tools that you have on hand, you will be able to edit your videos no matter what inside of Descript. So now that you've locked down how you want your videos to look and your overall video style for that short form content, I wanna dive into showing you exactly how to create templates inside of Descript. And the cool thing about templates in Descript is that when you go to edit your short form video content, you can literally with a couple of different clicks and maybe just a minute of your time, you can remove pauses, you can remove the ums, the ahs, you can use a lot of different AI tools to edit that clip for you. And then afterwards, you can use those templates that you've already created, and it will apply that style and formatting directly to that video. Again, this is something that has sped up my video editing workflow significantly. I'm not having to clip and split and redo my captions and how I present my subtitles in every single video. Descript really does it all for me. Okay, so you're gonna come into Descript and you're gonna click on this template section here and you're going to start to create short form video templates. You can also do this for the long form content that you might create as well. And you can see that I already have quite a few different templates in here. 
But to create a new one, it's going to be as simple as clicking on new template. And it's going to take a second for it to load, especially since I'm screen recording. It's going to take a minute. You will need to upload some sort of video file, um, a typical maybe video that you would create a piece of B-roll. If you don't want to do that, you can easily come over into this stock section and just grab a video. So let's just, uh, let's just open one of these up and we'll bring this over into the timeline. It's going to take a second to render and import that video. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to first and foremost turn this into a nine by 16 ratio and we will just stretch this video to fit. Again, this video is not important to the overall template. It's just to get something in the timeline. We can even clip this down to like six seconds. So it's not um, weighing things down as much. But the next thing you're gonna wanna do is name this. So maybe you're creating a template for your quote videos um, and you would just label that up here. So from there, you're going to want to start applying those stylistic choices to your specific video. So let's say this was talking head and you want to have captions, import your captions. If you, let's say, want to have different elements in here, like this is where you would have um, text overlay goes here and you would want to adjust this. So maybe we don't need it so big. We're going to have it set to like 100 and you can see that you can start to play around with this. You can also, uh, you know, select different text. If you have uh, branded fonts that you want to import, this is a great place to import it here. You know, for me, I've imported some custom fonts to make this look like TikTok text. Um, so we'll just kind of start to adjust and play around with this. And you get the video to a style. Actually, let's keep, let's make this to like 50. Yeah, that looks good. And you can just start applying different um, effects to your video that you would want to kind of replicate throughout each of the different short form videos you're creating. To the video itself, we can apply different effects. You can come in here and do some color adjustments. So something that's kind of popular with this style is to kind of decrease the exposure. And what you're going to be able to see here, oh, the other thing, forgot to mention this. If you go up into the scene, or excuse me, if you go up into the layer, and you click on the video and you want it to have no sound, there would be an option here. This one already doesn't have sound, but you could also remove the sound, things like that. And this is what the video would overall look like. Now, if you're wanting to create different variations where maybe this is a different color font, what I recommend that you do is you come up into this drop down, and we are going to duplicate it. And what we'll say is quote video, let's name this uh, yellow font. And what we'll do is we will then switch this to a yellow style font. Again, you can import your branding, things like that. Let's go back to this first one, yellow video, and we will say white font. And so now you have different templates for different colors that you might want to use in your short form videos. And now when you're done creating all of the variations of your quote style videos, what you're going to want to do is click publish template and you can name these different scenes or thumbnails. And that's why this like naming convention is really important here. So this one is going to be quote video white font and this one will be quote video yellow and instead of having them private i personally like to share it with drive so that my content manager can also see it but if you don't have anyone on your team the private drive is fine sharing publicly will share it with everybody in descript so personally i just do share with drive and then you hit publish template and now you have those templates and those variations of that template ready to go so now you know how to create a template. I want to walk you through how I use that template and give you an inside peek at my exact video editing workflow. I'm going to show you the folder system, the organization that I use, how I label certain videos and certain aspects of this video editing process. And then I'm going to show you how to apply that template that you just created. So obviously you can see here that here's all the templates that I have created. Here's the ones that we just created. So I have one for blog clips. I have one for my talking head short from videos. I have one for text on screen with B-roll. And then I have a specific one for YouTube shorts. And these are my products that I have like little animations come on the screen for. So anyways, you can basically have a collection of templates here. Now, what I'm gonna do is when I am ready to sit down and edit that video, I come into my workspace, go to my content creation folder, social media. I have everything super, super organized here. So all of my videos for December are in here. They have been created, but have not been edited and they need to be scheduled. So I haven't assigned a day to them yet, but I wanna show you in just a couple of clicks how we can start to apply these templates and edits in just a few minutes.
So first and foremost, what I like to do is edit the video in its entirety. So I come up into Underlord and this is just like Descript's uh, AI tools. First, I shorten my word gaps. Any gap that is more than 0.2 seconds, it shortens it to 0.1 second. This gets rid of all of my millennial pauses, all of the dead space. Sometimes it leaves like this weird clip in the beginning. Um, so I just delete that. But as you can see now, it has cut all those clips and pauses. And what I like to do is go in and edit the video. This will take me another couple of minutes, um, but like I'll get rid of my ums and ahs. There's even a tool to do that. You can remove filler words, things like that. But the cool part about the script is when you delete it from the word part of the transcript, it deletes it in the video as well. So again, this keeps everything streamlined, super easy. And I would go through and edit this video in its entirety. Once the video has been fully edited, then I will come over into the scene panel and you're gonna see this section called layouts. So you're gonna click see more layouts and Descript has a ton of different templates that they have already created. So if you don't wanna start from scratch in the previous section, there are some templates that they have for closed captions, things like that. Especially if you have a podcast, these are really, really great. But what you're going to see is if you come over into Drive, you're going to see all of my different templates that we've created. This is the one that we just created together. What I'm going to do since this is my talking head short form video, I click on this. This is a template I've already set up. I don't have multiple variations in here because this is just the only one that I use. I click on it and it applies it for me. It brought in the exact type of captions that I want. It brought in the title. So all I have to do is come in here and write the title very quickly. Again, this is something that I did in one click. I don't have to do this. And this is what keeps my editing process super seamless. So let me get rid of these and show you what a different template might look like. So I can go back into the more layouts. I can come into my drive and show you what my, us actually will do my YouTube shorts. It's a slightly different style. So what it did is it brought in the title, the captions, and then kind of this gradient here. Um, we'll do one more. I'll show you. Do, do, do. Let's do my. Uh -huh. We'll do the text on screen with B-roll, another popular one, kind of similar to what we created. This brought in that overlay. It brought in the text how I wanted it. And again, it is super seamless, super easy editing. When I'm ready to publish, you just click publish. Export, I'm sorry, when you're ready to export, you hit publish. And then from there, you basically do current composition. So that's everything inside of here. Um, I do max resolution, medium quality, because that's just what works best for my scheduling tool. And then I hit export and that's pretty much it. And basically whatever day this gets published, I'll put the date up here. Once it's been edited, I just remove this. And there's my December 12th video. And that's how I keep everything streamlined and organized. And basically I had just have a new composition for each and every video that I intend to post and create in December. Now you've seen the basics on exactly how you're going to edit your short form videos and build out your editing workflow all inside of Descript. If you wanna give Descript a try, head to the link in the description below to try it for free today. It's a tool that I literally couldn't live without and how I produce all of the content that I do day in and day out. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week.